let's duel him here. Back again with Cosmic Crucible. Today, we're gonna be going against Invalid. Uh, he's at a 49.9 million TCP, about 16 million, a little over 16 million bigger than I am. Uh, he's got a pretty standard defense though. So One, let's get into we it. got uh, Infinity Watch, decent size Infinity Watch. Uh, we're gonna use the same counter we always use for uh, for them, which is unlimited. Uh, it is room one, so anybody under 50% health is going to be hitting pretty hard with that double damage. Um, so if we get anybody low, we want to make sure we, we take them out so we don't get, get an unlucky one shot on somebody. But same goals as always. Just trying to trying to get through Phyla Veil. And we're going to ability block Nebula so she doesn't get the uh, counters out. If it lands, it did. We are going to slow Phylavel. Going to slow Phylavel again. Get more vulnerables out there. And then we are going to wait a bunch. And then we're gonna special here. Make sure we got offense up. We're gonna ulti. Striker attack will do some pretty hefty damage there. And then Phantom X might be able to kill. He's 7-7 seven, seven, seven now. Brought him up a little bit, and it did. Awesome. Um, so here, I don't have many speed ups. Uh, I'm missing on Dazzler uh, and Sunfire, so I'm gonna actually do the special here. Make sure I get some speed ups. You can see the damage from a bigger Infinity Watch. Uh, I'm gonna stun Gamora here. It's probably not gonna matter. I'm gonna end up killing her before she, the stun actually takes effect, uh, like right here. And we're gonna ulti. Okay, so Gamora's got that defense down and I know others are gonna start getting pinged. So I'm gonna start focusing Gamora, but I do wanna put this ability block on Adam Warlock. Make sure he doesn't stun anybody. And then we are going to Start working on Gamora. Make sure she doesn't do any funny business. Does this do more damage or is this? This does way more damage. And it kills Gamora. And this might kill. And it will. Nice. Super clean fight. Super easy. Let's get into the next round. All right, guys. Room two. We got Apoc Seed going into our favorite fight, Bifrost. About 80k punch down, 70k. I don't know math. It's early. Uh, 70k punch down. Yeah, please remove Raid Room, Cosmic Crucible next season. It's just, it was a fun test. We all wanted it. Don't do it again. Don't do War Rooms either, because it's just going to be dumb. Don't do anything like that. It's not worth it. All right, so same fight as always. We are going to Special Sylvie. Everything lands, because we got Magneto as a Skirmisher. Oh, yeah, stun that Nemesis. Thanks, bud. I really appreciate you. It's fine. It's going to get cleared anyway. And then we can special here. That's fat right there. That's fat right there. Land the ability block. Oh, you didn't? You suck. You suck. Um, let's see. What do I want to do here? So Dark Beast is low. Um, I don't want to have Nemesis die. I'm going to just special here and get the speed up. And all of these other buffs. This is an interesting choice here because I could actually just ability block Vol and not have to worry about it because she's got two turns of Disrupt. I'm actually going to do that. And I get the heal on Dark Beast instead of ulting, because I don't want to push anybody in the beta gets the reflexive taunt. Um, okay, now I have to do this. This actually might kill though, and it did. Why, why the Dark Beast? Why the Dark Beast? Stop it. Um, take out Loki here, so the stealth start going away. All right, I don't have the Dark Beast for the counter attacks. Good for me. Um, let's do this here. You got blind. No, no, no. And counterattacks. Uh, this actually may end it. 
with the striker and the percent damage. It did end it. Let's go. That was actually pretty efficient. I'll take it. All right, room two's down. Let's get in room three. All right, three. guys, room three. We got nowhere on defense. Pretty beefy nowhere. Um, we're just running Eternals, Kestrel, Cap Sam, and Cable for the speed up. Should be a pretty straightforward fight. It's a decent sized uh, nowhere, though. So, see how it goes. You got to bring the cable here for the speed boost to make sure Nova doesn't go first. Um, to make sure there's no issues with Nova stunning someone kind of important. And I just like the cap Sam for the turn meter um, manipulation. And then special here. This should kill everybody. <laughs> God, Kestrel's so good. Uh, I'm actually going to put the vulnerable on Nova so he takes 10% more damage. Why did Kestrel not just ping there? Why did why did Kestrel not ping on the defense down there? Hello? Kestrel, yoo-hoo. You can't take the rest of the fight off just because you killed everybody. Do you want to ping now? Is there some assist mechanic that I'm not remembering with nowhere? Am I stupid? Am I forgetting something? Oh, oh, now you want to ping. Okay. Can you not ping when he has a charge? Maybe it's that. I will look at that after this fight. Oh, Juicy just says no. She's just on vacation. Sick. Cool. Well, that fight was still easy, even with Kestrel on vacation, but not too bad. Let's get All right, y'all. Room four. We got a rebirth with a pretty beefy Quicksilver. I'm using uh, Doom, Tangled, Undying here. The reason why I'm using Doom in here is because I know I'm not using him in room six, so I'm just using him here um, because as kind of like an insurance policy, honestly. Um, this fight doesn't seem too bad, but it could go sideways with the assists and stuff like that. Let's see what happens. Who do I want to stun? Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna stun Quicksilver actually. Cause then I can ability block Peggy with Zim. Um, this might be a good idea. Basic there, so he counters. Oh, I got the charges anyway. Um, I am going to spread that actually, even though I haven't put the ability block out yet. I want the bleeds everywhere and then this ability block will land because Zim is a beast at fucking 12 power. Um, who do I want to take out here? He uh, does matter actually. I don't know if this will land. It did. Look at this. Um, mm -mm -mm. I'm actually going to take him out because I don't want him doing funky stuff with his special and one-shotting everybody. The bleed counter should take out Quicksilver, actually. Kill QS. Yes, I'm going to kill QS. I think the bleeds from Winter Soldier should kill Quicksilver here, and he's next to Cap, so I'm not worried about it. Oh, you didn't want to You didn't want punch people? Okay, cool. No, you don't want to punch people? That's fun. Bye, 299. Later, homie. I really thought the Winter Soldier um, having bleed was going to take out Quicksilver, so I didn't bother with him. But I think the... Um, I think the cap taunt took off just the bleeds and nothing else when it removed the um, negative effects, which is funny, actually. Uh, I'm going to make sure Peggy dies here by targeting her. And she will. Well, could have been more efficient if I took out the Quicksilver. Unfortunately, a little bit of bad RNG. I thought the Quicksilver would die to the Winter Soldier having bleeds and shooting him in the face, but still not terrible. 
Not bad at all. Full health on everybody else. Yeah, never trust the bleeds. Yeah, I shouldn't have, honestly. I was trying to be too efficient, but it is what it is. All right, guys. Room one. five. We got MOE going into Unlimited. First thing I noticed is a Gambit. It's gear 18. We got a pretty big beast, pretty big Jubilee. This guy went hard on Axeman, especially for this room. Um, Because it looks like he took him up to 95 because they're pretty... Pretty big. Yes, I'm not gonna summon with Ultron. See, that's how I know you're not watching my YouTube videos because the rest of the time that I've been doing these fights, I never summon with Ultron and I tell everybody not to and you are telling me not to like I do all the time. Uh, yeah, summon with Ultron, everybody lose there. Yeah. Yeah, let me let me do that just to, just to really piss everybody off. Let me do that right now. Um, we're gonna go here to kill Beast. I don't like when Beast is alive. Uh, bye. Oh, Moonstone. Uh, I'm actually going to go here for the basic. Bye, Moonstone. <laughs> uh, that's actually really funny. Yeah, I was going to lose a lot of efficiency because of that. It's all right. I should be fine still. Getting that turn meter, though. Not too good. Kang should still go first. And Kang bang. Yeah, my Moonstone decided to not play today. I I'm not sure why, but it's okay. Jared and Kang saves the day. Yeah, that, that that Raider Raider Gambit getting a 500k ping. That's that's fun. Well, time to take up Moonstone. All right, y'all. Last room of the day. We got new warriors going into Gamma. Almost a 500k punch up. This Gambit is all seven seven. Um, so a pretty pretty massive Gamma. Um, also, I missed a follow half baked. Thanks for the follow, bud. Sorry, I missed your missed your notification there, brother. Um, so we always special with Quenpool, even though we're in room six, doesn't matter. Always special. You want to make sure she has the taunt. We're going to go against this clump here. This clump is actually super good for us because it takes out Brawn and She-Hulk for us. Um, we're going to special this clump as always. <clears throat> and then we are going to ulti. And we did not get the disrupt on Hulk. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to uh, basic with She-Hulk here. Cause if I ult with dagger, I may kill um, Hulk and I don't want that issue. Throw everything back, it's okay though. Blinds don't matter. He might die to the bleeds, even though I was just told never trust bleeds, but I'm gonna trust bleeds. It doesn't matter, I gotta ult now anyway. Um, so we're gonna ult here. I won't push, push Hulk with that. Still not pushing Hulk, delete Red Hulk. And now I only have Hulk to worry about. So you gotta be kind of cautious of how much power you have to know you're not gonna push the Hulk with some of your turns. So you don't have to worry about getting stuck behind the taunt and not being able to delete him. So sometimes a bigger Hulk actually can help you. I mean, this is a massive Hulk, but it's over. Super clean fight. Um, actually, every fight went pretty well except for the MOE fight because of that massive Gambit, but See if we All right, y'all, so looks like we lost. We apparently lost our win streak of three, but that's okay. So I did some math uh, in between in between recording this and the last room. Um, the max I could have gotten was an 87 if I really played correctly because of the Bifrost RNG, um, the four not going after Quicksilver and trusting the bleeds, and then the five Gambit just deleting everybody. Uh, the max score I kind of saw was an eight, uh, 187, but I still would have lost because we would have tied and TCP. Uh, he used MOE on Secret Defenders with big time here. Um, actually worked pretty well. Not many people are using MOE against this. I don't have unlimited on defense because I always use them on offense, so it frees up an MOE. Uh, here he used straight Death Seed. Didn't go well. That pre-taunt really messes, messes it up. Uh, here I... I just have nowhere on defense because my infinity watch is tiny. Uh, he used some big guns here though. Uh, room four, he used Undying with Dormammu, Lady Deathstrike, and Omega Red. Interesting. Lady Deathstrike for the rewind, Omega Red does things. Obviously, we got new warriors into Gamma Dorm, and then this is where he's been using his Darkhold, Darkhold, Apoc into my Quicksilver Darkhold. But yeah, so we're uh, starting off the week 0-1. If we end up winning the next two, we will end up in Masters, which is good. So that's what I'm pushing for is Masters. 
that was my goal at the beginning of the season. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow for another round of Cosmic Crucible. Later, y'all.